there, Wild for the Outdoors, this is T-Mac, and today we're going to be talking about apples. Yes, that's an apple. This is not your typical store-bought, genetically altered apple. This is a feral apple, grown in the wild. But I'm going to give you a couple recipes today, one for canning, and one just while you're there, you might as well cook it. And uh, that's going to be apple butter and apple crisp, two of my favorite things. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. First, with the apple butter, you're going to need to peel and core a bunch of apples. This recipe calls for five and a half pounds. I just fill up my giant crock pot. So, you get all your apples peeled and cored. You put them in your crock pot. Then, you set it for one hour on high. And while that's cooking, you go ahead and mix, it, mix together your spices. You're going to need... This recipe called for four cups of sugar. I only use two. I never use as much sugar as they say because I like the taste of green apples. And yes, it's going to be a little bit tart because I'm using green apples, but it's still good. If you want it to be sweeter, use the sh all the sugar and use the big red apples that are sweet. Now, with that sugar, you're going to add two tablespoons of cinnamon. quarter teaspoon of cloves and I use about a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and I will sometimes throw in a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg mix that all up and dump it right on your apples that's it set it for 12 hours you're gonna slow cook this stuff until it turns into a nice dark buttery mixture once that's done, take it right from the hot cooker into your jars that are clean and sterilized. Dump them, put them in your water bath and make sure there's around a half inch to an inch of water over the lids and boil them for five minutes. That's it. Pull them out, let them cool. You've got some of the best apple butter there is. And I mean, how easy is that recipe? You know me, I like things that are easy. Now for your apple crisp, you want to fill the bottom of a cake pan full of peeled and cored apples. Now I ain't going to lie, it takes a little bit of work to peel and core that many apples, but it's well worth it. Now, on top of that, you're going to mix one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and I put in three quarters cup of oats. Sprinkle a little pumpkin pie spice, maybe a little bit of cloves, just like your apple butter. Mix that up, pour it right on top of them apples. Then you're going to melt a stick of butter, which is a half a cup, and just kind of drizzle that on top, covering as much of that sugar and flour as you can. Stick that in the oven, 350 degrees, 30 minutes, voila! apple crisp. Once again, if you're using the feral apple, it is a little bit tart, but I love green apples. I mean, there's just something about them. Those big red sweet apples are good, but these sour apples are really good. Hope you enjoyed these recipes. I know I did. Uh, if you like what you see, go rate us, subscribe to us, like us on Facebook, and you know, just keep watching, keep supporting us. We thank every one of you. God bless all of you, and I'll see you next time. Team Fitzgerald Scents, pioneers in the outdoor industry, crusading since 1974. Visit them at www.teamfitzgerald.com for all your scent needs. Sign up for the newsletter and be the first to know about big okay, savings. Get your copy of Trapping with T-Mac today. Almost 90 minutes of fun trapping action in the foothills of the Ozarks. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com and visit our online forum. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends, and hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land.